How's it going, everybody? So, um, this video is uh, kind of in response to a question that someone had posted recently on one of my other YouTube videos uh, talking about the Berna TCR. Um, and basically what he asked, and uh, thank you for the question. I'm happy to take the opportunity to share some information here. Um, basically what he asked is if we uh, have a burnout TCR, how easy or how difficult is it to replace the detents on our own? Um, so I have this one that's already torn down. Um, it's going tomorrow to one of our friends up in Canada. And um, I can gladly use this one as a good example. But um, we're going to be kind of reverse procedure. I'll, I'll show you guys um, basically what I do when I tear it down and um, how to put it back together. So basically, watch the video. And if you need to take one apart, just kind of reverse procedure. Because everything I do is um, basically the exact opposite order to take it apart. Um, a couple things I'll point out here. So this is a not factory Berna breech block. This is a aftermarket breech block uh, that we have sourced. And the purpose of it, you'll see this is the original. Uh, and it is only for round ball. This one you can use uh, shaped projectiles like HP 68s or uh, VXR pepper rounds, uh, VXR inert rounds from pepper ball. Um, so we offer this as an upgraded part. So it just kind of um, makes it more versatile. And I'll show you basically, so this is your TCR extended magazine. This is your basic seven ball magazine. And it says right here, seven ball mag. And I believe, yeah, this mag, the shorter mag, will only do round ball. I don't believe it will uh, allow you to use shaped projectiles, but these longer mags you can use <clears throat> HP 68s or VXRs or any of the uh, BK, Brenda, Spencer uh, custom kinetics ammo. Uh, these will work great with those. Um, so that's why we offer this as an upgrade because it, it just gives you so many more options. Um, that's that. So... Oh, yeah, I guess there's more to it. Um, <clears throat> the other part of this, you'll notice this right here. So this is your standard TCR rubber detent. Now, there's a couple things that I do with these, um, depending on what way we're going. So the breech block that I use, you can see everything is identical but it's missing the funny shaped hole right here, right? So this detent would go in that hole like that. And there would be another one in this side, all right? And the detent fits in that little slot right there. So it has a little locating position and it actually works best if you have it here um, when you put it all together and the reason for that is because uh, to get this all together the breech block has to go into this little squared notch right here and catch that detent without knocking the detent out of its little hole and you have to compress that spring to get the air chamber into here and then lock into its hole so it's kind of 
finicky. We'll, we'll use the word finicky. Um, first couple times I tried it, yeah, things, you get it in there and then it wants to kind of pop everything out at you. So that's kind of a challenge. Uh, you got to kind of get used to how that all works. Um, but what I do with these, let's say you order our upgrade package and you don't want the upgrade breach block. Uh, what I do, so when I open this up, it looked just like this. It had one detent. Uh, now, some of them will have two detents, right? So, there is, I can't turn it over because all the screws are in it, but there is another locating spot. Um, maybe I can... Nope, that ain't gonna work. Anyways, there's another locating spot for the detent in this one. So basically, if this didn't have a second detent, uh, normally what I would do is I would take a piece of tape and I would cover that hole. If it did have another detent, what I would do, because two detents, and I've, I've tested this theory multiple times, and I think uh, Spencer has as well, two detents actually slows your shots down quite a bit. So what I will do is I'll take and I will cut to about here. So if you look at the dark spot on the detent, that's where the ball touches. So I will cut that off. And then I will take the remaining part and I will just set it in the hole. So it blocks that hole. And the reason for that is so you don't end up with a pressure loss out of that hole. So basically we're trying to minimize as much pressure loss as we can to get as much pressure to go out the barrel as we can. Um, so there's a little, little tip for that. Um, but like I said, our breech blocks that we use only use one detent, so it eliminates that hole altogether. So, let's see here. So when you go to put this all together, so this O-ring just kind of floats right here for now. You've got your regulator. There's a little brass short, they call it a short gas tube in between. This is your air chamber, and on the back side, you've got this little little button right here. You want to make sure that little button, when you go to put this together, you push that in. So you probably couldn't see it. I didn't turn it quite quick enough, but that was sticking out almost flush to the back of the air chamber. Now what will happen, uh, this trigger linkage right here, if you don't get that trigger linkage behind this you can actually bend that and I've damaged a couple um, just not paying attention when I went to put them together uh, yeah. so that just slides into the stock like that and this kind of sits in there like that and you can tell when these bolt holes you can see daylight through you're nice and lined up there and then just make sure your breech block is seated in properly and you'll see now that this o-ring kind of floats here so what i like to do because it actually has a recess in the breech block right here for it so i'll just take my screwdriver kind of push that forward Like that. See now. 
it wants to push itself apart. It's a good amount of pressure with that spring. So now the tricky part of getting this all together is getting the safety See, now I'm paying too much attention to the, to the camera and not enough attention to what I'm doing. So I almost left a piece out. So this is your long gas tube. There's a little bit of grease on both ends. Uh, it's not actually retained with anything aside from being pinched in between Feels pretty good. Let's try this again. All right, much better. So, see how the mag release button kind of is stuck down in there? That always happens. So, you just got to kind of pull it and let it kind of snap up. And then right here, this little hook needs to snap together with the other half. And then give it a little squeeze and you'll feel when everything seats together properly. These lines will close up nice. And then um, this is a three millimeter Allen key. Um, all these screws are pretty much the same size. Or no, not pretty much, they are the same size. And what I like to do is just go kind of down the line, just make them all, just snug them up. Use my dirty hands and sweatshirt. I just got home from work. And so yeah. I mean, changing out the detents is, uh, it's not a super complicated job, but never open one of these up it can be a bit intimidating uh, another thing I'll mention is pay attention to this screw right here at the top of the grip if you find that when you get it all finished up you put your mag in and when you push the release it doesn't pop out like that you probably have that screw too tight that mag should spring out a couple inches when you push the release and all right so these two 
So these are all flat topped screws. Uh, there are two screws that are different that go here. So keep that in mind. Those are the only two screws that are not the same head style. Uh, <clears throat> this is your CO2 door. It has a adjustment right here. Um, let's see here. So the adjuster screw is a three thirty seconds. So if anybody ever needs to adjust that, uh, three thirty seconds is the size on that. And so a good rule of thumb that I go by now is. Uh, because I have to take all these little metal guts out of the orange ones and put them into these black ones when we do the um, parts swap for making these all black. Um, when you go to put the screw back in here, uh, four and a half turns is usually spot on and pierces your CO2 perfectly. So if you find that when you uh, close the CO2 door, you put a CO2 in there and you close this door and it pierces the CO2 without you pulling the trigger, you've got that adjustment screw too tight and you need to back it off. Um, and you just want to back it off just to where you can close the door without it piercing the CO2 on its own but then when you pull the trigger, it pierces and you can look at the CO2 after and it has a good hole in it. Because if it has a small hole in it, you're not going to get nearly all the power that you should be getting out of this. Um, so putting this in is fairly simple. You've got this hole right here and this pin. So this just feeds into here. You can snap it all the way in. This pin goes up into there. And then this piece actually slides over and retains that pin. And then these two screws hold that front piece to the launcher. So your CO2 door actually pivots on that pin, so that pin has to stay loose. So the pin holds the CO2 door, and then this piece goes over and retains the pin. that if you're feeling adventurous you're gonna dive into changing your your detents um, that's basically all there is to it I mean you can look up you can look up in there and you can see your detents from the magwell so if your detents are broken you should be able to see that so at least uh Verify by looking in here before you go diving into this because it could turn into a project that you didn't even need to do so That's pretty much it. I've got a uh, One more part to Put on this one Get rid of all this Flashy orange here And we'll get this one on its way up to to our friends in Canada. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was uh, helpful and informative. If uh, you guys have any more questions, yeah, definitely drop them in the comments. I'm happy to um, share information with you guys as I 
as I am able to. Uh, I'm back on my feet. COVID got me down for a week, week and a half or so, but I'm feeling much better now and back at it. So thank you guys for all your support and your kind words and uh, I appreciate everything and uh, talk to you guys soon.